Hi guys, um, today we are going to get um, Pisces done for sure and probably I'm going to try to get Aquarius done. The moon was in Aquarius on Tuesday. I haven't got that kind of behind. I was trying to stay with the moon phases. Um, that just didn't happen. Um, but I am going to start this reading with three um, little tarots here from the Enchanted Tarot. For Pisces. So when I'm doing this, these readings, um, since we are in a Pisces moon, um, all right, yeah, Pisces moon, um, it's about will today. Um, it will not just be a Pisces, it's for the Piscean energy. Um, so this can go for anybody. This is for this Pisces moon in general, but if you are a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart, um, this could resonate more with you, um, but I feel like the moon's energy, uh, it brings it certain energy through to everybody, but it's probably even more so affecting those with Pisces strong placements or Pisces sun or moon especially. Um, so let's go ahead and get Pisces. We got the five of hearts. Reversed. Eight of Wands. It's reversed. Let's see what else we get. Pisces. And the sun. Okay. So this is um good, I'd say. Um, eight of pentacles on the bottom. Let's see. Um kind of feeling like right away there could have been or is right now. Um, maybe you're waiting for some communication, waiting for some kind of um maybe something to happen. That's what I feel like is you're waiting for something to happen, and recently you were um, I feel like in a position kind of, uh, I'm not sure we're going to get more on this side, but I feel like you were, um, trying to look at the bright side kind of thing and waiting for some kind of, um, information or communication about some situation or something going on here and coming in, we got the sun and that is illumination. That's getting cl clarity. That's safety. That's, um, it's a really nice, joyful, happy card. So um, it's feeling like good. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get a oracle on this side with the five of hearts and see what's been going on. Kind of. This could be energy that you're actually just um, kind of getting out of. Or you could be currently still in it depending on where you're at. Chaos and conflict. Kind of feeling like maybe things were up in the air and there was like a lot of mixed energies, mixed messages, maybe, um, just a lot of like this, um, it's like a mix of everything. It's like a horse. It's like a giraffe. It's like a zebra. I feel like you were feeling a lot of different things, a lot of different energies, a lot of different, and it just felt, um, like too much, like complicated is what I'm feeling. Like there's a complication here. Um, and it's feeling like everything's in different pieces and it's kind of feeling like it's kind of hard to put it all together. This could be something, um, emotional, um, but we will get a little more on that and we're going to go ahead and get, I will read that probably that's number 33. On the sun side. You could have even felt like it maybe like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like, like you were like scattered, like scattered energy is what I'm feeling. Like not focused on something or just feeling like torn between different things. Um, maybe part of you going this way, part of you going this way, just um, going through a lot of different things, trying to decide what it is you're going to um, focus on. First breath, beginner's mind after the sun here. 
So I feel like after a lot of worry and possibly a lot of scattered energy, maybe a lot of trying to um, put the pieces together, um, get some clarity on something, um, there's good there's a good energy here of coming into something new, a new energy, um, a, new, a new day, a new dawn. Um, after some communication here or some kind of message waiting for that right now, I don't feel like you've gotten this um, yet, but I feel like there's um, still a feeling of like peace and safety here with the first breath, the beginner's mind. It's like staying optimistic. I feel like that's a strong message um, in this reading is there's been a lot of like confusion, maybe um, Maybe some looking at um, not looking at the positive and everything, even though maybe you were trying, you were still looking at kind of negative or or everything, just being torn between like looking at the positive, looking at the negative, like going back and forth. Um, and now it's like, um, feels like things have just kind of halted or stopped for a second. Um, and we will go ahead and get... Um, Let's see what is next here. I'm going to go ahead and get one of these. Get a little more on this, Pisces. I feel like you've been trying to kind of maybe put yourself back together um, after some chaos and conflict. Um, kind of trying to bring yourself back into a more positive um, mindset, maybe a more positive place in, in your life here. Um, where you're more optimistic and I don't feel like there's been tons of like, um, communication or action happening. You could just be really still doing this work. Um, and let's see here. We got a calm surrender under the five by the five of hearts here. And that's a. I was feeling that. A pause. Find peace and letting go. A new perspective offers clarity. That is um, definitely what I'm feeling with this Eight of Wands coming out. Reverse. It's like you paused. Um, there was something here that was kind of... You felt torn or like in pieces. Maybe really like upset. And you just... Fa you have recently just realized um, you've surrendered something. You've uh, said, you know... This is what it is, and that's sad, and that, or that's confusing, or that's um, chaotic, and I'm just surrendering my part in this, and I'm going to try to look at the bright side here, which is, um, and we got the sun over here. So it's really nice, but it feels like you've done a really, um, maybe stopped, stopped um, trying to put the pieces all together, or trying to figure something out, or trying to... Um, see something differently maybe you just surrendered to what it is and you're letting go of um things you can't control um that's what i'm feeling um let's go ahead and get one on the sun side here with this eight of wands in the middle calm surrender yeah i feel like you might have been really trying to hold it together like while everything's like feeling like it's all over the place and things are not in order you've been trying to hold things together you've been trying to hold your light together you've been trying to hold your positivity and you're trying to look at the bright side that's what i feel like you've been trying to do um through some kind of crazy energy um maybe a lot of mental energy because i'm feeling um with all these pieces kind of scattered um some things may be falling away some things um even in the mind and then we got the moon wow the moon right next to the Sun, heightened intuition and emotions, illusions and subconscious. I feel like something's coming in here that's going to shine some light on some of your deeper intuitive and emotional um, things that you've been, that, that may be where this chaos and conflict, like you weren't sure what was real or what was an illusion. And that's going to be um, coming to my, coming to um more forefront for you where you're actually going to be able to see kind of um, see something more clearly um, whether this is through your intuition like your intuition is going to be very um, clear and you're going to be very clear and um, with your emotions I, I feel like this is a uh, 
pretty strong message um, with the sun and the moon here. Um, so we're going to keep going with this. I'm going to go ahead and get, um, let's get a intuition oracle. Let's see. Chaos and conflict and calm surrender. Maybe you pulled yourself out of something or you were just trying really hard to hold something together is what I am feeling like. This could be a relationship. This could be a job. This could be yourself. This could be your mind. This could be um, trying not to let your mind get the best of you or not letting your emotions get the best of you. That's what I'm feeling, your emotions. With the five of hearts there in the reverse. Um, and just right now there's not a whole lot going on, but I feel like there's going to be quite a bit going on. A new a beginner's mind, something new. Um, and it's going to be kind of clear what you need to do um, with this first breath. Could be um, some kind of relief or some kind of clarity coming in that relieves you. Or um, we got the forgiver. I forgive myself and others with compassion for our human qualities. Hush. Bell. Bell. Stop. The forgiver. And on the bottom, the creator. I love playing the wonder-filled game of life creatively. The partners. You could have been trying to um, hold something together, um, bring some forgiveness into a situation, um, showing extra compassion for this, um, any chaotic or conflictive energy that you've been surrounded by or a part of, um, been really trying to um, bring your light into it, Hold it together, look at the bright side, um, and trying to show compassion for your own, like, either whether this is confusion or even just a, a momentary, like a momentary, like, falling apart or not being able to feel like you can fix something or put something back together, feeling like something is broke. It's like you still were trying to, and then, like, hold it together and kind of just, like, forgive yourself and others so that you can surrender that um, kind of chaos because you can't fix it like there if there is something here that's chaotic or conflicted um i feel like you you the only way you could come to kind of a peace or a balance within yourself is by um releasing control of a situation or releasing um any idea that you can control or fix something um you just i feel like there's been a release here all right so let's go ahead and get one of these with the sun the moon and the first breath this feels um start you must start from where you are examine your situation and take a chance oh, okay yeah something's going to be very clear here something's coming in here that's very clear and it's saying you know not to look back at what you can't control the chaos and the conflict You've had some kind of surrendering to, um, maybe there's, um, maybe it's even non-communication with somebody or non-communicate, non, um, just silence, like quietness, like solitude. And you've surrendered to that within yourself. And it's saying, um, and it's interesting. I haven't really seen this, but it almost looks like this horse is, uh, like resting on, um, almost so there could be like a pause here where you're resting and getting ready to start something new um something's going to become very clear um i feel like with the moon and the sun here um but there's also a feeling here like even like the clarity like is from your intuition or something from um I am feeling a new beginning here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get um, a couple more. We're going to go ahead and get a goddess. Let's see what goddess you guys get. I've really been trying to hold something together here. Um, the dawn. Do not be discouraged if things look dark and hopeless. The sun rises each day, revealing new possibilities and renewed hope. Yeah, so if you're facing or have been facing a chaotic or um, a situation you've had to just leave up to the divine um, and just kind of hold on to your, your positivity and your shine, um, it's 
it's being it's a clear message that even though there's a heightened intuition here, there's definitely some um it says emotions and illusions, the subconscious, the sun. It's gonna shine some you're getting some clarity about some unconscious things that um some of this kind of dark, it feels like maybe some shadow um, energy where maybe you've been <sighs> coming to a realization that you were trying to hold something together or that things are falling apart. It's some kind of illusion and it's going to become clear that there is an illusion here and that this will give you a new fresh perspective and a fresh start because um, it's a new day, a new dawn and we got the dawn and, and I did feel that at the very beginning, a new day, a new dawn, um, you know, letting the past fall away, um, even if it was even if you were trying to hold something together or trying to, I feel like you've held on to some positivity here. I feel like you've been forgiving. I feel like you've been compassionate. And I feel like um, this is going to give you an opportunity here once things start moving. I don't feel like they are right now. Um, but it's just saying not to get discouraged, to keep um, calmly surrendering what you cannot control and only control what you can, um, which is you. Um if things look dark and hopeless, the sun rises each day, revealing new possibilities and renewed hope to appreciate every day um, and every night. I feel like, you know, there is um, a feeling here, the dawn. All right, so let's go ahead and get one of these. Um, this is a journey of love. The chaos and conflict, um, first breath. Oop. Start. I feel like it's really um, you're going to be getting ready to start something new and it's saying to do it if you have an opportunity to see something clearly or to get through some kind of illusion or some kind of situation where you know you're dealing with like some shadowier aspects of yourself or something to stay focused and to have a beginner's mind about it not to bring anything else into it to keep it simple and have that beginner's mind don't have any preconceived judgments about it don't um you know stay balanced between what you see and what you don't see um understand that there's things you see and you don't see and to begin anyway to start even if you're unsure um, to just have that beginner's mind and take one, which is kind of like gives me that full energy, um, of just trusting and taking steps forward and necessary. Um, even if you're moving away from some, um, things that you feel like, Hey, there's a lot there that I, I have no, um, control over and I have no, um, you know, I've done what I could. I've, I've forgiven. I've shown compassion. I've calmly surrendered any like of my, um, anxieties about not being able to fix something or hold something together. I've tried to look at the bright side here. I've looked at what's important here, not what's gone, but what's right in front of me. And it's giving you a new opportunity to have a new kind of fresh perspective, um, a new day, a new dawn. And we got yin yang lover. I was feeling that yin yang energy with the sun and the moon here. Um, the dark and the light. And there's a positive to every, um, you know, there's light in every darkness and there's darkness in the light. So it's just, it's, it's just the balance. It's the balance of nature. It's the balance of life. And, um, I'm going to read that, but that is a beautiful card. The yin yang lover eight. All right. So let's go ahead and read a couple of these. Um, let's see here. We're going to read this chaos and conflict. I think it came out reversed. Um, but I will, read the quick message for both the protection message and the regular message um the essential meaning is disarray being at cross purposes with another the tension of opposites the value of chaos before order like things have to fall apart before they get put back together or you know endings have to happen for new beginnings to start that kind of energy um opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere but consider the value of chaos that serves you well. As you become unmoored by it, scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal. 
projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to the reordering of things. Um, conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. I feel like that was what you did um, with this calm surrender. Um, don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. And that's this compassion and forgiving. It's just like sitting back, letting things um, kind of go where they're going to go, fall where they're going to fall. Surrendering to the process of whatever this is, whether this is a healing process from some kind of um, turbulence or chaos or loss in your life. Um, it's still, I feel you still have made a good intuitive choices here by um, trying to remain positive, holding what you can, which is just your own essence, your own soul, your own light, and um, releasing anything that you can't. Um, with the protection message, it says this is an advantageous moment to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Even in the seeming chaos, there is a kind of divine order, a complete resorting of elements. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there is positive news. The timing is perfect. Things are already stirred up. So don't be afraid to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know about how this situation affects you long term. Be present in the eye of chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. Yeah, you could have came to a real um, understanding here too that everything happens for a reason. And and taking this time and this energy and doing what you can with it to um, kind of create a uh, balance, I feel like. Um, we are going to go ahead and read the first breath here, which is 21. A fresh start and renewed curiosity, natural trust, beginner's mind. When the first breath card shows up for you, it is time to leave the old stories and tales behind. You have arrived. Take a deep breath and another. There is nothing else you need to do but take in the old world or take in the new world that is revealing itself around you. Trust your natural curiosity. I feel like you are going to be seeing your, something more clearly now. Um, the unconscious, the conscious and bringing it together to have a new beginning for yourself. You feel like you've came to a real place of balance here. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Um, there's no need to dwell on how difficult the journey has been or how tight the passage to get to where you are now. Just take it all in and experience the awe and wonder of your arrival at this destination. Even if it is a, even if it is a familiar place you have come to many times before. Try to experience it as if for the first time. For you are renewed and the old you is no longer your concern. <laughs> yeah, there's a renewal coming in here for sure. Um, whether this is, um, I feel like this is just a really nice, um, fresh start, fresh perspective, um, clarity that brings in like this freshness. Practice the beginner's mind, not labeling or naming what you see and experience. That situation that was so difficult only a few days ago. Just be with it and breathe. You have already gone beyond it, have overcome and resolved it. Even if no one else realizes this yet, soon enough they will as you move on. So keep going. It's saying whatever this is that has had you kind of torn or feeling like it's um, out of your hands or out of your control. It's like you've already done what you can do and you've already come through it. It's saying believe that. Take that next step forward even if it's un- um, seeable there's um victory here there is a new fresh start and there is definitely balance and clarity coming in for you um it's really nice um you've already gone beyond it have overcome and resolved it even if no one else realizes this yet soon enough they will as you move on do not squander the power of the first breath giving the old narrative mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation use it for new beginnings to animate a world you can play and create in do not underestimate the power of of your breath and the magic of the word yes yeah, so really really taking this opportunity to really have that fresh start and leave the past in the past and you may have learned something really great through this um or are and it's just right now you're sitting with it and you're um you're in a very very strong energy of acceptance right now and that acceptance is going to move you forward to a new start i am feeling that um so we got that forgiver 
I forgive myself and others with compassion for our human frailties. There must be forgiveness, both of yourself and others, in order for healing and love to dwell within your heart. The energy you might otherwise channel into thoughts of revenge will only work against you and on many levels. Close your eyes to the irritating behavior of another if you are sure, both in head and heart, that they are worthy of your forgiveness and that such an exercise of compassion will help them to grow. Growing pains are a fact of life, not only on a physical level, but on a mental, emotional, and spiritual levels as well. Forgiveness is the antidote to the poison of blame. All too often, the tendency is not to try to solve the problem, but to fix the blame. All too often, the tendency is to not try to solve the problem, but to fix the blame. Blaming someone provides a false sense of comfort to the one who is now absolved of any guilt or possibility of wrongdoing. To forgive is not weakness, but the greatest strength. Yes, finding a lot of strength and um, doing what you can, which is just shining your love and light into a situation that you may have felt was very chaotic or conflictive. Um, you may have even been conflicted about... Um, forgiving somebody or having compassion for somebody and have come to a conclusion, you know, with this five of hearts, you know, when it, when it comes out reverse for me, I always say, you know, you're looking at the bright side now, or you have, you just started looking back, um, looking at what you have and showing, um, kind of releasing the, the things that are gone and the things that you can't fix or nobody else can fix for that matter. All we can do is just move on, be forgiven um, and come to a new understanding about um, the lessons we learned through that. Um, that is what I'm feeling. Let's read this Yin Yang Lover. The force of attraction is stronger than your conscious control. There is no need to fight the inner genius. You can learn to speak its language instead. What is it that captures you, that pulls you close, that holds so much light for you? It's interesting because I feel like um, this surrendering, it's like they're holding light. What's holding light for you? What's holding light for you? What are you holding light for? Um, you can learn, what did it say? You can, that holds so much light for you. Why fight it? Don't step away from what you really love to grab hold of a second prize. Why not claim your first prize? It is there waiting for you. It is yours alone, beloved. No one else can claim your own divine birthright for you. Be yielding and let your desire fill your body, your heart, and your mind. You don't have to fight for what is already yours. It will come to you through the field of attraction that emanates from your own heart. It is not a question of worthiness or deservedness. It is not a question of trying to work out what you need or want. Your heart always knows. Listen, if you still can't hear, then just feel. You'll get the gist of it soon enough. This oracle has a message for you. No matter whether you seem to be heading closer to your goal or further away, you are making real spiritual progress. And what you want is the same thing that is wanting you. What you're seeking is seeking you. It's only a matter of time before you get it. Yeah, it's like you're um, looking for this. There is a balance and a new start here. And you want, I feel like you may have wanted a new beginning in a situation, releasing some old stuff that's been kind of holding you back, maybe learning um, a real, real um, spiritual lesson about forgiveness and compassion um, and surrendering to um, what you can do, which is you can hold um, oh, hold your light even in dark situations or chaotic situations, and you can still bring positivity, and there's still what is meant for you is there right at your feet. Um you may be sitting with this right now and it's going to come to and you're going to get this new start um, to see things quite differently, I'm feeling. The moment when you, <clears throat> let me, <clears throat> this is like a little poem that's on in here. The moment when to fill my heart again is measured not in time or sweet remorse, nor tears that wash away unbridled pain or morning's light, which sings its soft retort. Such love has slept through storm and winter's long. No call could break the stillness embrace or hasten change before the season's song unfurls its melody and words so chaste empowered thus i found myself compelled to cast aside emotions dormant still my feelings spoke from depths the answer welled 
no need or past the emptiness to feel. At one, our touch has opened hearts anew of patience born, there waits a love so true. Yeah, this may feel like it's been a long time coming. You may have been really wanting and working towards this balance and this acceptance, forgiveness. Um, trying to put stuff together that you can't put together. Trying to fix things you can't fix. Um, and just coming to a really radical acceptance here that there's still love here for you. And being patient and holding your light, calmly surrendering with love um, to whatever the universe brings to you. Is offering you a first breath, a fresh perspective a new start it's saying start now don't um it, don't think about the past don't it says you know examine your situation and take a chance so whatever this is if you are feeling if you ain't here yet and there comes a time here in the next week two weeks month whatever um where you feeling like um i don't know if i want to take that chance it's saying take a chance um take a chance at having this beginner's mind for one, looking at things in a very fresh new perspective. Um, because there could be something really special in love here and balance here. You know, what's left after the three of cups that are spilled on the five of hearts is the two cups. So that is, that is that, that togetherness, that, um, that yin yang, that sun and that moon, that, um, it's that balance. So I am feeling that. And then we of course got the dawn here. Do not be discouraged if things look dark and hopeless. The sun rises each day, revealing new possibilities and renewed hope. Yeah, I feel like staying positive and having a fresh, like you, like that full energy, having that youthful, fresh um, perspective, and you know, just keep moving forward, starting things that um, you may feel like, oh, that's just you know, I don't know if I want to do that. That feels risky, or that's a risk. But it's saying to do it. Take the risk. Because um, it's leading you into uh, good places. Um, I feel like in balance. Let's get a couple of these. Uh, little clarity cards here. Okay. We got. Mobility. All is in motion. Nothing stays still. It may feel like something's not moving, something's not coming along. Maybe things aren't looking balanced or looking bright right now or looking like there's going to be a new start or whatnot, but there is. Um, there is a balance coming in. There is, it's just nothing still, even if it feels really still right now. The ability to move freely, ample range of motion, flexibility, and ease. intuition once again we got that moon energy that's what i was i was actually just saying and then i was like oh you may not be able to see it but definitely you can feel it definitely there's something moving underneath here something that's maybe not visible to everybody else um or may and maybe not to you but um and wonder is the beginning of wisdom wonder the wondrous things instinctual understanding immediately without need for conscious reason just knowing something and going for it taking the risk taking the chance um doing what you need to do to follow your intuition and you're going to see things much and then initiative you can't start a new chapter if you keep reading the old one the ability to take charge strike out on something new and take an introductory step a first step towards a new beginning coming in here pisces um after some time of really trying to hold some old stuff together, trying to hold on to an old, um, maybe an old belief or an old relationship or an old job or some, some old way of perceiving things or um, is there something already moving here? It's been moving. You don't see it yet, but it's been moving. You've already went through it. You just don't know it yet. And neither does anybody else. Um, you're going to have to follow your intuition right now, definitely on this, because I feel like there are some things you can't see or understand. And, um, Staying positive and um, showing initiative, taking initiative um, to move into the new um, phase or new steps in your life to get to the, this um, balance, this more um, integrated balance um, is coming in for you. Um, the ability to take charge, 
take charge of your life, take charge of your mind, take charge of your um, actions or inaction, and take charge of the way you hold yourself, your light, um, together, even in chaotic moments. I feel like you have been doing this, Pisces. I feel like this is um, just coming in and really saying, you know what, remember, um, tomorrow's a new day, today's different than yesterday, and take initiative today to do what you need to do um, to move into a new energy, to move into a new um, perspective, a new balance for yourself. Um, so that is really nice. Um, I'm going to just look on the bottom there. Foresight. Out of sight, out of mind. Predicting the future mindfulness of needs. Far-reaching vision. There could be something here you are definitely feeling. Um, maybe you need to do or there's something intuitively trying to come to you and it's going to become clear that you're getting a new start at something, something new beginning here um, where you just have to kind of have that, that trust and that beginner's mind. So it might be something you've just never experienced in your life or something that's just very new to you. Um, and let's, uh, I think I did already read all the book. The creator. I love playing the wonderful filled game of life creatively. Having creative solutions, even if things are just kind of um, don't make sense to you right now. Um, know that you've already overcome this. And vulnerability. This could even be a, kind of a, that could be why you're being quite still here in the middle. There could be some vulnerability here. Feeling kind of weak or, um, but it's just like hold yourself together, Pisces. Keep yourself together. Um, stay balanced within yourself. Stay positive. Have that beginner's mind coming in through this energy. Um, and remember that a new day, a new dawn. And there's always hope. And um, keeping that hope and keeping that trust and keeping that faith in the process, um, a process that we can't see all of it. So there's always more, um, <sighs> perceived weakness or powerlessness, fragile. You could feel like you just didn't have any power in this situation or currently feeling like you have no control or power in the situation and you're holding it together. You're trying to hold it together, but there's a calm surrender here. Of surrendering to what you do have and what you do know. And I feel like you know um, there is like there is something here that's um, worth moving away from this chaotic energy into a much more balanced and fresh and new energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of this. The Eight of Pentacles. Working on things here. Evolve. Creative ideas evolve out of the invisible and profound nothingness of proverbial consciousness. Being very mindful of what is evolving in your life. And the tribe. <clears throat> and that's the number eight too. There, there's support. There could be people coming in to help support you. You know, just... I feel like right now it's really quiet and you're feeling like not very much energy or you're not seeing a lot right now. But I think some things are going to become really clear here and there's going to be a new new start here. Um, a fresh perspective. Just saying remember to breathe. Take that first breath like it's your first breath of the first day of the first day of the rest of your life. Because it kind of is every day. Um, dragon's Horde. Protecting the future. Um, everything happens for the highest good. Um, sometimes we don't know why... Um, we aren't getting um, necessarily the answers we want or things ain't happening the way we want them to. Why wait? Why can't we control this? But there's a bigger picture. And it's old, ancient, wise things that we know nothing about that are being held for the future. And um, yeah, it's just there's a there's um, wisdom in surrendering and accepting and having trust and faith in the process, whatever this is. Um, and then on the bottom of the goddess deck, there is the Sybil. Think twice before sharing what you know with anyone, except those who you know without question are ready to hear it. Okay. Hmm. Protecting what you do know. I don't know. Becoming. All right, Pisces. So that's what I got for you guys. Um, I don't know if that helped anybody. I hope it did. It um, it did seem a little, to me, I, I'll have to just sit with it. But that's your guys' reading. As always, I appreciate you guys coming, watching your readings, your likes, your subscribes. And as usual, I'll talk to you later.